If you think about prescribing oral birth control pills to help with those symptoms, if you know how oral birth control works, it actually decreases or suppresses some of the signaling to our ovaries to produce hormones, thereby decreasing or suppressing our estrogen and progesterone. Hey there, it's Julie Murphy, Women's Health Nurse Practitioner at the Tampa Forum Health. I just wanted to talk a little bit today about prescribing birth control for women that are in perimenopause or menopause and how I don't think that's the best approach. So first of all, if we think about what happens during that perimenopause, menopause, our hormone levels start to drastically decline. Initially, we'll see our progesterone start to decline, and this can be four to 10 years before our last period. So initially, progesterone declines, and then our estrogen becomes a little bit erratic. It's gonna spit out some estrogen, and we might ovulate and have a cycle, and then some months we may not, so we get some irregular periods as well. This decline in hormone can produce a lot of different symptoms for women. It can be weight gain, it can be insomnia, it can be mood issues and brain function and cognitive changes as far as memory or brain fog. It can also be unpredictable periods and heaviness. So there's a lot of different symptoms that can go along with perimenopause, menopause transition and decline in hormones. So if we already have a decline, now we're adding birth control on top of that, it's gonna suppress those levels even more. Sometimes we'll have worsened symptoms because of birth control. If the goal during that phase is to reduce the risk of pregnancy, then birth control could be an okay idea. Or if somebody is really bothered by irregular cycles, then that also would be a reason that could regulate our cycle. But it's not gonna do as much benefit for our symptoms. So typically, the way I prefer to do that is to really look at hormone levels and see what they're doing during those times that we have symptoms start to occur in that perimenopause, menopause time frame. That way it gives us a better idea as far as what our hormone levels look like. From that stance, we can then prescribe some of the bioidentical hormones to help balance out those hormones again and reduce our symptoms. That's the preferred way to do it. Also, when I think about oral birth controls, they are synthetic forms of our hormones, estrogen and progestins. And with synthetic hormones, there are some studies that actually have shown there are much more risks with use of those in terms of cardiovascular, as well as blood clots and other things. So it's not my preferred method. If you're interested in looking at your hormone levels during those time frames of perimenopause and menopause, I would suggest seeing a functional medicine provider like us here at Forum Health in Tampa, get some testing done, be able to look at where your hormone levels are and work with some nutraceuticals, lifestyle, diet, as well as maybe some bioidentical hormones to help get you feeling better. Thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye.